At ease, soldier. Christ, kid, I can see your lips moving. This is all Uncle Sam could muster up? You ought to know better than most that it's not about numbers. You got... Well, what is it that you got? Magic wand? Voodoo? Well, we got guns. Guns with special bullets. Bullets that open you up from the inside out. Bullets that bring on pain and fire and darkness. Magic bullets straight out of the Pentagon's darkest dungeons. Karen Olson, Department of Homeland Security. Hi there, how are you? Great, let's take a walk, shall we? We're, of course, extremely excited to have you guys on board. Extremely excited. United against, etc. An enemy of my enemy, and so on. Couldn't be happier, but we don't want to end up in a... A situation. We like to keep our Kabbalist relations civil. It can happen to the best of us, you know, combat situation, tense nerves, and bam! We have to deal with the trimensional rift, things oozing through, tentacles, that sort of thing. I just need to make absolutely sure that we're on the same page. We need to keep out of each other's ways, leave the war to the professionals, etc. I can't give you an order, because, you know, obviously, but... Let's just say that any civilian interference to sanctioned military activities on this island will be treated as a very real and present threat to the security of our homeland. It could end up backfiring in a bad way when you don't have the authorization from Homeland Security to operate ab-grade military software on U.S. soil, even if it is in Maine. Oh, but I hear Egypt is really nice this time of year, and you know, we don't like to get involved over there, so it's all on you guys. Best of luck. Our only line of defense is those filthy orangutans. Goddamn foul-smelling apes is what they are. And I'm not sure how long they'll last. But you know what they say. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Unfortunately, we got no lines of communication. We don't speak monkey. But I know you folks are in touch with Gaia. Everyone and welcome back to Secret World Legends, where we are exploring the full Secret World intellectual property. That's the MMO and all of its spin-off games, and soon the tabletop game, I hope. I hope you're doing well, and if not, let's see what trouble we can get into here in the Blue Mountain. That's right, we're in an all-new area. Let's see here. We need to inspect the tactical map. Charlie, Covert Ops, Bravo, Delta, question marks, Sasquatch, locate the Sasquatch Glade, over there, alright. Oh. Hello? Oh, hello! That must be a Sasquatch. Make contact with their chief. Hmm. Guessing that's you? Yep. It's pointing that way. Search the area that he indicated. It was kind of a vague point. I'm not sure he really indicated much of anywhere, but sure, I'll just go this way. So they just made their home, like, right on top of the Akab cave? Oh my goodness, there are tiny little demons everywhere. Go away. No bugs for me today, thank you. There's already like an earwig infestation happening all over my state, I don't need this. Please go away. Please go away. Thank you. Hmm. Doesn't look quite right. We've already killed a hundred a cub. Awesome for us. Hi, could you stop whatever that is? It's a family friendly channel, please, and thank you. There you go, buddy. What if I destroyed all of your eggs and then I destroyed all of you? Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, 
Um, why am I being hurt? What's hurting me? Is the gas from those things toxic? Is that what was happening to me? Maybe. What's down this way? Oh, more eggs, obviously. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh, okay, there's more, um... Weird Akab stuff that we're not going to question in the slightest. I'll let you out. Just a second. Just gotta get... Alright, let's get you out. Oh my god, we have to do that five more times. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. Ah, here he is. Hey, buddy. Let's get you out of there. Alright. Destroy the giant Akab cocoon near the cave entrance. Buddy, go! Yeah, we're getting out of here. You and me, come on. Oh, hey. No. No, thank you. Yeah, no, that's fine. Don't, like, help or anything. Where are we going? I mean, to the cave entrance, obviously. That was a silly question. Oh, this must be the giant Akab thing. Oh, goodness gracious! Uh, premature queen. Oh, you're so big! Ma'am! Rampaging evolution. Don't think so. Turn to the Sasquatch chief. Is this the way out? I think this was the way out. Oh, I'm going to be lost for a while, aren't I? Oh, oh no, I found it. So many ducks. This way. Yeah, you don't gotta roar at me, buddy. I'm going. Excuse me, but, uh, your chief is expecting me. What's up, dude? Aww, he nodded to me! The soldier might have a point, however crude his presentation. If helping the Sasquatch stand their ground against the insects allows us a bit more freedom to go about our business, then it warrants some merit. Some. Navigating the internal squabbles of governmental agencies is a practice we've long abandoned. We've had to we have to assume we're right and they're wrong at least most of the time. Even if appearing to cooperate might seem beneficial, I encourage you not to yield too much ground. Our agenda will always trump theirs. It's also a matter of appearances. We get by in peace and sadness, the ghosts and I. Like in an old folks home, I suppose. We keep each other company. The ones up in the mine, well, that's a different story. A real horror story. They weren't just Ed's crew. They were our friends. My soirees were the talk at Kingsmouth. A touch of New York glamour to the sticks. That's why I had the pool dug, you know. And no, I don't mean the kind of party where you leave your keys in a bowl. <laughs> I know they still linger and suffer. Must be lonely under those old cold rocks. Back in the day, when I would still leave the house, I tried to silence those voices. I called every priest, every psychic and paranormal investigator in Maine, and not one of them stayed overnight. Even the Indians and that little Ami girl offered their native mumbo-jumbo. At the time, I thought, yeah, the nerve of it, considering the part they played in the whole mess. But I suppose they were only trying to help. Sometimes... 
when the wind comes. I hear those boys at the mine singing. I can never quite make out the words. All right. Not sure I would call it mumbo jumbo, but let's go. Come on, get out of my way. Now Solomon County Police have entirely closed the mine following an incident that may have claimed the lives of several workers. Details are scarce at the moment, but Sheriff Pangborn, so this is a while ago, it's not a bannerman, so we know that before Helen Bannerman, it was her father that was the sheriff. But Sheriff Pangborn has asked that anyone with information on the whereabouts of Chuck Thompson, Billy Woodrow, Sam Wilson, or Jimmy Rigsby, contact him or the sheriff's office immediately. Mine foreman Edmund Franklin still on bail following August accidental shooting of September 1971. Nice to finally oh, have some visitors. Oh, the player startled me. Let's see here. Go to the Blue Ridge Mine. I can do that. Good lord. Oh my goodness, we are running so much from everything. Uh, hi. I would like one of these. Quick access no, leave me alone. Thank you. Let's see, we have the quarry foreman, and we have a junk pile. Hmm. I got us a piece of candy, though. Okay, that's from the bestiary. Ooh, here's one. Initiate the Secret Histories In 1879, during the Great Mining Boom, a dig opened outside of Kingsmith, excreting valuable ore and wealthy lust. Yet controversy followed the digging. The Wabanaki tribesmen protested. They gave warning not to disturb the holy earth or what slept beneath. Uh, I know how to get to that one. I'll do it later. Let's go in for now. Oh, dark. Thank goodness we have a headlamp. Find Chuck Thompson's remains. Well, they're over there and that guy's going that way, so it's going to be a minute. Hate machine. Yeah, you're kind of going the way I need to go, so I'll wait for you to come back. Is it safe? Can I come out? Maybe. Oh! Mistakes. Mistakes! Don't see me. Don't see me. Okay, you didn't see me. Good. We are going to take this, though. What is that? Ugh, bit of filth, I guess. Initiate the now. The dark days cometh. A fog recently arrived in Kingsmith, and strangers came in the murk, some interested in the closed-down mine and nearby quarry. Some came to study. Some came to harness the terrible power, and a few came knowing the sleeper must never awaken. Been held under so long, I ain't even got the memory of the man I was. No loving memory. I? Hello? You're horrifying. Alright, well, that was awful. Uh, locate a picture of uh, locate a picture of his family. Oh, here he comes. Don't see me, please. Please don't see me. Please just leave me alone. Keep going, buddy. Keep going, buddy. Goodbye. Don't know what the big red circles are, but I'm not going to step on them if I can help it. That looks like dynamite. See a piece of candy. Don't mind if I do. Quick access inventory updated. Okay, I wanted the candy, not the dynamite, but I guess that's also a type of candy. Not that. There we go. 
1973, a scathing report of the incident and the, at the mine was published. Autopsy reports came to light. Mangled corpses, lips torn apart, extreme burns, and multiple fractures. Some cadavers could only be identified through calcium deposits in their mouth. So much identity trapped in the meat of your faces. The report concluded a tragic accident killed the miners. The jailed Wabanaki were released. The government tried to remedy the embarrassing situation by granting the Wabanaki ownership of their holy land, including Blue Ridge. Okay. That's over there somewhere. Well, I just did all this for nothing then. Mm -hmm. that way. Oh, there's a dude there. I prefer if there was no dude anywhere, ever. Don't go that way. I need to go that way. Can't go that way. Uh, this way? Oh, okay, you're coming back out. Thank you. Please do not come this way, though. Please do not come this way. Please go a different way. Just do yourself a nice big path away from me. Okay. Okay, sneak behind him. Do a little sneaky sneak. Ugh, okay. This whole area is just made of gross, alright. Okay, is that the picture? It's in the circle. Oh, great, I got filth on me. Oh, that child looks evil. Alright. Ugh, covered in filth. Gross. Place the picture by Chuck Thompson's remains. Sure, I can do that. Where is he? Well, hopefully not this way. Oh, <gasps> he is this way. Okay. Where are you going, buddy? Okay, thank you. Oh, go the other way. Would you look at that? One fine day that was. How you like it, Rigsby, you undead son of a bitch? Ain't no more Christmas where you're headed. Find Billy Woodrow's remains that are over there. Um, this guy. look like an accident. That looks like a murder. Okay, you need a drink. Drink also over this way? Oh. Yeah? It's over there. Just gotta wait for this guy to go by. Come on, buddy, let's go. Keep going. Don't look at me. Keep going. Don't look at me. Thank you. Okay. If I were a flask, where would I be? Well, the last... Oh, that's dynamite. The last thing was in the red circle. Yup, by the red circle. We gotta go give him the flask. So, Rigsby was responsible for this. Wasn't he one of the missing miners? That's the stuff. Damn shame my courage died 
down here before I did. Okay, find and use dynamite. Okay. Well, I have dynamite. I, I found that one already. Oh, I also found filth. My life is very sad. Okay. Ooh, no thank you. Ooh, I see a lord. Hmm. That, again, does not look like an accident. Ed took the fall for Jimmy's temper. We all fell. Seems to me, you ought to square things up with Mr. Rigsby. Okay, so... Jimmy Rigsby had a temper. Find Jimmy Rigsby's remains, but let's see what this says first. Those who still believed knew that their ancestors did all in their power to stop strangers from disturbing the earth. They remember that what sleeps must never be awoken. Not ever. But your species' memories are made of meat, so if you recall old stories, who will perpetuate the endless lullaby? Oh, I don't want Phil. Okay, can't go that way anyway, I guess. I have to find Jimmy Rigsby's remains, wherever those are. Dig him till their hands are red. Dig him when Jimmy should be dead. Oh my goodness, okay. Time passes. In 2005, the Wabanaki Council of Elders disbanded after the majority voted to sell part of their land to a multinational corporation to fund the construction of a casino. Of a casino. The purchased land included the mine, the old quarry, and the surrounding hills. The decision sparked a bitter argument within the tribe. The old legends, the dividing chasm between those who still believed and those who had forgotten. Family became enemies. The schism still remains. I guess that's what Ami and Red were talking about. Okay. Yeah, this is the right way. Right? Ed took the fall for Jimmy's temper. We all fell. Finish this for us. Sure, dude. Hang on, I'm gonna get this first. And what of the echoes? What past horrors do they enunciate? Oh, sweetling, your mind moves so linearly. In the half-light, in the alien gravity of the filth, echoes move backwards. You hear the future coming. It won't be the future for long. Hmm, terrifying. No darkness reigns. No, I don't think so. Hi. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, thank you. I can't even do- Okay, I'm starting to do damage to him. Come on, guys. Get him. Okay, we're finally starting to get this guy. Alright. Really, because it kind of just looks like a dude in a cloak. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's cool looking, but I don't think it's really beyond my world. I mean, you are in it. I'm, yes, it is very dark here. Turn to the entrance. I would love to actually get out of here. So, we can do that. Uh -huh. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Oh. Well, that's what happens if they see you, I guess. Alright, let's see what this has to say. 
I'm not at all surprised that mine is filled with skeletons and ghosts. The Illuminati had a free run of that island for centuries, and, unsupervised, they do tend to make a mess. The scale of that mess is astonishing, if not surprising. In their recklessness, they dug too deep, despite the vehement protest protests of those who knew the land best. The ghosts of the miners are, of course, of little consequence, but the state of the mine is. Before we know exactly what we're dealing with out there, we should defer to the locals and do our best to help them keep the situation contained. Locate the mine elevator controls. Here. That's just over here. No. To the deep shaft. Locked. Return to Eleanor Franklin and learn more about the mine. We can do that. My husband told me to expect you, so I threw on the glad rags. I used to take any excuse to socialize, do the best parties this backwards island has ever seen. But that coach turned into a pumpkin a long, long time ago. Now I just share this old pile with all my cats and all the ghosts. Even move the furniture down to give them the run of the upstairs and the view from those big windows. Oh, it was a peach of a view when I shared it with Ed. The peach trees are rotten through now. Things started changing with Ed back in that cold, cold summer of 71 even before the ruckus with the Indians over that damned hole in the ground. Blue Ridge. Something happened up there. Started eating away at him, but he wouldn't admit to it. When he came home, if he came home at all, he shut himself in his study with all the books and maps. And he shut me out. And then there was the incident with the Indians. I didn't mean to kill anyone. It was self-defense, but he was tormented by it. He couldn't sleep. Suffered night terrors. He'd stay up, always scribbling in his books, on magazine covers, on the tablecloths, on the walls. I could hear this incessant scratching in the dead of night. After a while, I stopped asking him to come back to bed. I never did figure out where he kept all that writing. When his crew was found dead in the mine, it was the straw that broke the camel's neck, so to speak. I found him hanging in the attic. His face was the color of a ripe plum. But that's not how I remember him. Not how I want to remember him. He was a good man, my Ed. A good husband. A good friend. There's no shortage of secrets in this house, but... Ed's lost his way, and his mind. Says he once knew how to put it all together, but he's just broken memories now. None of them good. Says the dreams came through and ate him up, and unless something is done, they'll eat us all. Says it's all in here somewhere, but he can't remember where. So the dreams came to eat him up. All right. Please stop by again sometime. Oh. Okay. Sure. FB patterns, which patterns? Pyramids, pyramids. Suns. No, oh, let me. Here we go. Suns, suns dead. The quiet ridge. Scream of life exhausted. Starry emptied. We dig till death becomes life. Old gods become new. Old gods new. B. Lee 66. Um. Pretty sure that's Gaia. Un, un, unseen? Unseen anything or everything? A light is the key. Okay. 
No, come back. I hit a wrong thing. Come back. Thank you. No, not that one. Ugh, well, I'll try to pause it for you guys. Examine the notes on the wall. Crude drawing of a Sasquatch. They give death, they give life. If they give skulls, they give life. Whatever, is that life? Is that the sun? Hmm. Pick up the large Sas- oh. Okay. Yeah, there's just a big skull there that I missed. Alright. Bring the skull to the Sasquatch chief. Hey man, I'm back. Did you miss me? Oh, look at your shiny light. Oh, you have quests now. Cool. Well, with that, I think we're going to call it here for today. Remember to like the video if you liked it, to dislike it if you dislike it, and I hope to see you all in the next video, which should be Call of Cthulhu 2018 by Cyanide Studios. Until then, try to have a good week.